After a hell of a long wait, we finally have some news from the Generation Zero team in the form of a dev letter. Now, unfortunately, it is a dev letter stating that the next update is not going to be coming out in April, which is a shame. I was hoping that we'd see it towards the start of April, but still nothing. We were told that we'd potentially be getting a roadmap um, that was being worked on and would be available soon, but still nothing, which is a big shame. Now, we'll go into this letter from the dev team, and then I'm going to go over a few of my thoughts. And some are good, some are, some are bad, but it is it is what it is. Now, it's been a while since we did one of these, so we thought we'd give you a small update on what we're doing as surely it felt to some of you as well. We blinked and suddenly the February 2023 patch was two months in the past. By now, we're sure many of you are wondering when you'll receive news about the next update. First of all, no, we don't have a release date for the patch yet. We will not be able to release it in April, but we are in the final stretch of development. The reason for this is that while all the main features we want to include have been implemented, there are a few bugs that have popped up that we can't ignore. When we started working on this patch, we already had a timeline in mind that would allow for a longer quality assurance period than the previous updates. We believe that investing more time into testing these changes we make will mean there'll be fewer bugs that slip past us, resulting in a much better overall player experience, which is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I don't mind waiting for an update if it's being tested and there's loads of stuff going into it. But what I don't like is the fact that we're not getting any information from the team. We used to get little snippets, even if it was once a month, just a little letter saying, this is what we're working on, this is what's coming. We don't have a date, but it will be there when we've finished and we've got everything up to the quality that we want it at, which I think is much better than saying, oh, yeah, there'll be something. Oh, yeah, we're working on something. So, I mean, communication-wise, I think they need to do better. The game is brilliant, and... I'll go into a little bit about the Systemic 3 games that they've got at the moment. Uh, but for now, we'll just carry on with this. So what happens now? Right now, we're going through another round of bug fixes. These are primarily related to a new feature that we're introducing in this update, which will add more things to do on a reoccurring basis. So after that, we'll do another round of testing, and as soon as that's done, we'll schedule the patch and announce a release date. While we can't commit to a specific date yet, we think the wait will be well worth it. When we've locked in a release date for the update, we can also start working on a public roadmap for the rest of the year, which was meant to come out a while ago anyway. But that takes more time. In the long run, we believe that this change for our development cycle will improve the quality of each update, giving us more time to work on exciting new features. Thank you for your support. The resistance fights on the Generation Zero dev team. Now, while all that sounds good, I mean, I do think it sounds good that we're getting something and we've actually got a letter from the devs. It means nothing because we've had these things before and then the, the, we've just had radio silence. I absolutely love this game and the community is slowly deciding to say bollocks to it. We're waiting too long. Nothing's happening. We're not getting anything. We're not getting any feedback. The dev streams. Yeah, that's great. You know, do a dev stream once a week, but there's no news in them either. It, every, everything that we're getting is, yeah, we're working on it. Yeah, we're working on it. Something will be coming. Something will be coming. What happened to the days of, of 2019, 2020, when we got some really, really cool little snippets of what was happening? Just even if it was something to keep the community going, wow, what is that? That looks cool. Let's get guessing. Let's have a chat. Let's get the forums and the Reddit. Uh, let's get everything active and, and people chatting amongst each other to try and see if we can guess what this is. And unfortunately, we're not getting any of that, which is a massive shame. I would love to see more of that just buzz in the community. So the Systemic Reaction 3, Second Extinction, Ravenbound and Generation Zero. Second Extinction is an absolutely brilliant game when you play it with a bunch of friends, but average player base at the moment is less than 60. Ravenbound, a game that they released in March. The daily players on that are less than 40. Generation Zero, on the other hand, they're still pushing anywhere between 600 to 1,000 daily players, which is brilliant for a game that has been out for so long. So I'm not exactly saying, you know, put your eggs in one basket, but... I think more effort into the first basket and the basket that is bringing you your primary player base would make a hell of a lot more sense. As I've said many times before, just something 
a, a DLC, letting people know that something like that is in the works. And I don't mean a shitty weapon DLC or a skins DLC. Something that brings substantial content to the game. That is going to buzz the community, get players in, and people will pay for something with more missions, more things to do. Whether that will happen or not is yet to be seen. Hopefully it does, because I love Generation Zero. I know it might not sound like that from a few of my previous videos, but it's just getting tiring and there's not really much to do in the game at the moment. If we had a whole new load of missions, I think that would be absolutely outstanding. The players would rally behind the game again and everyone would be all over it. That player base would double. That's what I think. Hopefully I'd be right, but you never know. Some people may say enough is enough. But even the Steam forums where this has been posted, the outlook there, a few are okay, but it seems like a lot of people are still like, well, really? Like this comment, for example, this sums up how a lot of the people are feeling. As it says, it sounds very good at first, but whenever there's talk of improvement, it turns out to be a deterioration in gameplay. Every update that is released lately has not caused much enthusiasm among players, so forgive us if we're more than suspicious about new updates. Please do the players a favour and change your pricing policy. With the quality they deliver, the prices for DLCs are not justified. Prices are too high for what is offered. In addition, weapon wheels should be significantly improved, the Russian machine should be revised, checkpoints need to be revisited, and it should be possible to erect significantly more buildings. The FMTEL orders must be re-evaluated and crafting needs to be re-evaluated. Which, once again, crafting being re-evaluated was something that was meant to happen a while ago, which is a massive shame that that didn't happen. So this comment goes on and on, you know. New missions can be sold as a DLC, and many players would rather buy that than any new weapons or weapon skins, which is very, very true. Now, th that 100%, there's a big old comment and there's loads of stuff on there. And people as well, apparently comments have been deleted, bad comments, saying that, you know, this, this isn't good enough. Apparently they're getting deleted. I haven't seen any, but I have seen people say that, you know, it's convenient my comments have been deleted. Oh, this guy's comments were deleted. It's, is it impossible to take criticism? I know you may not enjoy hearing it, but it does happen. Blocking that will just give you bad press. So, you know, I think... Uh, it's tough. It's so tough. People are saying, I'll buy a DLC for weapons and a heartbeat. Not a problem at all. And, yeah, it is, it is tough. It is tough. Hopefully, though, this update is something that will prove us all wrong. As they've said, something that will bring us playable content daily. Maybe, what is this, daily missions or something along those lines. Which, hopefully, yes. Hopefully, that is. I'm hoping. I don't want more bloody weapon skins. Don't want more weapons. And a chunk of the community feel that way, too. So, you know, some new missions, some new things to do. Um, daily missions, like transport missions. Get this from here to here and, and do this and this. Something that would just bring something a little bit fresher, I think, would definitely be good. I'm very excited for an update to be there. Um, but roadmap as well, something that we were meant to get a while ago. And it's taken ages for that to be worked on. I'm sure I did see somewhere that there was meant to be a roadmap um, just after the anniversary event. But we never saw anything like that. And once again, it was in the dark. There was no comments. So it's a shame. But a roadmap definitely is something we need to see. And even if it's just a little snippet of the update on socials, just to get people excited, I think that would be great. I've ranted enough, though. Um, hopefully, hopefully we see something good soon. Hopefully we get a date soon. Hopefully we just see something soon. Something other than a letter like this. For now, I'm going to leave that there. Um, massive thanks to everybody that's watched. If you do support the Generation Zero content, once again, massive thank you for that. I am also streaming tonight at 9pm BST. For anyone that wants to check that out, we'll be streaming Dead Island 2. For now, I've been Wired. You guys have been awesome. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.